Ooh, this, I know exactly what you mean. Because after I had my last baby, like I didn't know what to do. Like I'm still trying to get my life back in order. And my twins are actually now, you know, 11 years old. They're preteens. So after having another baby, it's it's kind of weird place that you're in because you know exactly, you know, what you're about to go through, both mentally, you know, your body. Um, but there's also some unpredictable things like, you know, every pregnancy is different. Your hormones at an older age can be different. Like there's a lot that is unknown at this time. And I really struggled with like getting some type of routine to my day because everybody knows that with a new baby, a newborn, like your time is no longer yours. One of the things that really helped me were the women who were in my life. They were a great support system. And I'm not just talking about, you know, free labor, like, you know, grandma keeping the baby or, you know, mama helping out and stuff like that. I'm talking about, you know, both paid and unpaid help. I had a team of women that I've been using for a long, long time, nine years now, that were cleaning my house weekly. The next door neighbor, she would watch the baby during the day so that I could, you know, work. My mom stayed with us for a period of time. You know, she would help do meals and stuff for the kids and me while, um, you know, they are homeschooled because literally I would sit there all day and barely even eat. Like I would look up and it'd be four or five o'clock and I hadn't eaten a thing all day. If it wasn't for her, I probably would have wasted away. His mom, you know, she was very um, important in, you know, those first few months. I went and stayed with her for a week and she got the bond with her grandchild and I got some much needed rest and caught up on some work. You know, sometimes as a mother, you have to take time where you can get it. You have to take help where you can get it. It doesn't always come from the people that maybe it should come from or that you would hope it would come from. But building that network definitely um, helped me to cope. And I'm still coping, quite honestly. Like, I'm still trying to get my hormones together. I'm still trying to get rest. Like, I'm still trying to, you know, get that self-care in. I often wonder which is easier, being a first-time mom and really not having the experience or the sense to know what's coming down the line or being, you know, a second, third, fourth time mom and knowing that you should focus on your self-care and getting these systems and processes in place and just not knowing where to start. It can be a bitch. So don't don't believe that it's just you struggling. It, it is a struggle. OK, it's a struggle. And you got this.